Good morning. Welcome back to Dragon Tails Fishing. Today is the day. So I've got the kayak out in the garage. I've got the marine mat laid out. I'm going to do the install of Louisiana Custom Kayak full Hobie Pro Angler 360 kit for the 12 foot version. Check this out. So right here, I've got the marine mat all laid out, kind of where it's going to go on the kayak so that I could just pick those pieces up. Uh, it's a good thing to do that because that way you can make sure you have all the pieces that you need. Plus, I actually had to go back to reference on the website to make sure that I understood where those pieces go on the kayak because it's it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you start doing it, you'll be like, yeah, this, this fits right here. Uh, but once you get a couple pieces that you're like, where do they go? It's a good thing just to go back to the website, check out their little uh, kit that goes out. Uh, shows you where everything is laid out and that way you can put everything out and make sure you have all the pieces So I'm going to show you the kayak right now I've got it kind of stripped down and what the next part is. So let's do that now Yeah, so here's the kayak I took everything out of the kayak that I could possibly take out uh, I'm gonna have to take this off as well And I made sure everything was out of the back. I've got my alcohol wipes here I uh, got pretty much all the accessories off the seat and everything and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna peel these old pieces off right here here and here clean those areas up and then we're gonna go ahead and wipe down the entire kayak in the inside and on top with the alcohol that way we could get all the stuff off Ooh, that's a nice deck mat huh that's gonna look amazing on this, this kayak. I'm gonna bore you with all that information, you know, trying to get the thing scrubbed down. You're not gonna watch me scrub everything down. What I will do though, is pause the video for just a second. It'll only seem like a second for you. And then for me, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do all the work, show you what I got, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So let's do that now. All right, so I got the deck mat off. I wanna show you what it looks like and show you what we're gonna use next because this is the hardest part of the install. Because cleaning up a mess, <laughs> never fun. Let's check it out. So I got all the deck backing off. As you can see right here, got it all on the floor, about to go in the trash. And it leaves like a residue right here. All right, all that stuff we got to clean up before we can put the new deck mat down. And we're going to do that now. And a couple things that I use is, newbie gone and a razor scraper. So I bought this one because the last time I used one like that and it was a little tedious. So I'm gonna try this one out. Plus it's always nice to have another tool in the, in the arsenal uh, for things like this. So I bought a brand new scraper, brand new razors. We're gonna use that to uh, scrape off the old tape glue that's down and then we'll clean it up. We'll wipe it all down and put the sea decking on. So that way you can see the before and the after of what this kayak will look like. Man, it's gonna look so cool. I'm so excited. Let's get her done. All right, fellas. So we got the first step done. We got, the, well, first two steps done. Uh, we got the old mat off and we've cleaned up the kayak. Uh, this process right here is gonna depend on what you wanna do and how good you wanna do it. Uh, I'm only saying that because I actually used that Gooby Gone that I explained earlier, and I washed the kayak, not once, but twice to make sure that there is no residue on it. Plus I used my air compressor to blow out even the little, little uh, cracks and crevices uh, that I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, to make sure that there's no water in it, no dirt, no grime, no nothing. So let's go ahead and check this kayak out. And then we're gonna start putting it on the sea deck. All right guys, so check this out. So I got her all cleaned up. As you can see here, all the uh, four spots here are all cleaned up. Uh, you can see here that there's still some uh, little scratches right here and stuff like that. That's actually from the razor knife. Uh, and it's what I explained before, when you're doing the razor knife, instead of scraping forward, scrape from forward back. So you're using the back side of the razor not to scrape up the plastic. Uh, because what happens is, is this is a, a plastic kayak. 
those razors are sharp so they're going to scratch the kayak um what you want to do is use the razor knife from the front and then scrape backwards not scrape forward like you're trying to dig into it you're trying to just go over the top to get all that residue off that you can and there you go of course my dog wants to try to get on the film too so he's over there barking his little head off so like i said i washed the kayak twice made sure everything was out and then i used my air compressor to get into these cracks right here to get all the water uh out of there and any sand or dirt that might be in there uh the reason why i did that is because i didn't want any water to be in here when i apply the, the marine mat because that when it's heated up is going to expand uh and of course evaporate water is going to evaporate creating an air pocket and it could lift up the uh, sea decking so i wanted to make sure that that was fully dry everything is pretty much ready to go i could just start putting the mat down now we're going to do that I'm not gonna go through the steps on applying each piece. I'm just gonna show you this, and then we're just gonna do a All right, guys, before I show you the kayak, I want to talk about the next part. So I'm going to show you something here. So on the kayak, I did not put the hatch cover on. I want to show you the hatch cover here. Watch. So right there, there's the hatch cover. Uh, I didn't install that yet. And there's a reason for that. And it's going to go into my review of the actual kayak mat and why I chose what I chose. Uh, and my experience with the company when I ordered it. So if you want to watch that and find out why I did not put that hatch cover on right there, uh, go ahead and check out the next video, which I'm going to try and post right there next. Uh, so yeah, check that out. So, all right, I'm going to show you the, the after. This is the after. Check it out. All right, guys, I apologize for the music that's being played so people are having fun. It's a weekend. Uh, I got the kayak right here. I've got all the accessories back on uh, that I have up till this point. I'm going to go ahead and show you the kayak now just so you can see the video uh, on what it looks like with everything back on it and how I've got it set up for this year, for 2024. Let's take, it out. Let's take a look at it. All right, starting up front. Look at that, We've got the anchor wizard right there with a four pound weight. I'm gonna actually upgrade that to a six pound weight because it's not quite as heavy as I would like it. As you can see, I've got now the guardian angel light on here as well. This one is the white one. Uh, I don't know if you can see the light right there. Yeah, it's on like that. And that is on a magnet base that comes with the actual kayak. These are awesome, awesome lights. Uh, of course, you got the marine decking here. Uh, I didn't install this piece. Uh, stay tuned for that video, guys. You guys uh, will not want to miss that because I want to share my experience uh, with the company and how my my how bad my experience was or how good my experience was. So you'll definitely want to hear about it. 
kicking it on. You got the, uh, I've put the H rail uh, on here as well. Put my um, accessories on here with my pliers, things like that. I've got my phone holder. Uh, also up here will go my GoPro mount, uh, which I haven't put back on here quite yet. And one other thing that I haven't done is I haven't put the uh, mats on the uh, pedal drives yet. I'm gonna do that a little bit later. It's just one last piece I've got to do, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the video. But this is it. We've got the uh, kayak cushion up top. I got my old trusty towel right here that kind of matches the kayak, so I put that on here as well. Uh, got my rod holders for here so that I could put rod uh, fishing rods down here. I've got my catch board uh, by catch with my uh, Florida Redfish series uh, card holder on there as well. I've got my wheel wheelies straight from Hobie uh, for toting it around. I got my Yak Attack crate, and I also have the uh, small boxes that, that you buy as an accessory. Uh, those I haven't figured out where I want yet. I've got two of those, so I'm going to be installing those soon. And I got my camera mount for my GoPro, as you can see there. And then moving back, I get this got my rod holders and check out that right there. Just a little sneak peek of uh, some of the baits that I'm painting up. Uh, I got my my slow sinking twitch bait. I got my top water spook right there. I know these are pa these are blanks that a lot of people see, but these are my patterns that I use. I like to have those. And then uh, some of our Saw plastics right here. We have a four inch paddle tail with our own proprietary tail on the bottom. Uh, also, I, I like to run the uh, Florida fishing products here and I like the bull bay rods. So I've got uh, three bull bay rods here. And then the other one is just an extra just for uh, filling up the back thing there. So I have right there, I have one of our shrimp molds that we haven't really shown a lot of and I have it paired up with a popping cork. Yeah, she's definitely looking pretty. So let's get a little wide view of that right there. Some of the accessories on there. Uh, I did take the, off the um, other mount for the fish finder and I took the fish finder off as well. I have a little issue with the actual head unit of it. Uh, I've had it for a couple years. It's been sitting in the garage, so I never really used it for any of the tournaments. So I decided to go ahead and try to put it on here. Uh, unfortunately it was acting up so I took it off and I am going to be getting a new uh, fish finder here in the near future uh, but for now I took it off so it's not in the way less is always better when you're out kayak fishing so yeah there we go let's get a little better view of this kayak I'm gonna go do a little quick walk around of it just showing you the kayak and see what you think Yeah, so there you go guys i hope you like the kayak i hope you like what i've done with it i uh, hope it gave you some insight on maybe some uh, ideas to do on your kayak as well uh, i want to share that experience uh, that i had with ordering the uh, sea deck uh, and you'll definitely want to know what happened because uh, it was not your usual it wasn't just an easy process uh, so i want to thank everybody for watching my video and if you haven't yet <laughs> I say it a lot, but if you haven't yet, like and subscribe, uh, join my channel, watch my videos, listen to my dog bark in the background, and uh, thank you for watching my video, Dragon Tail is fishing out, see you on the next video guys.